next story we're going to look at, I told you it was going to be short. The next story we're going to look at is also going to be relatively short because it's almost just a list of stuff this dude does. This was a recommendation. So I did a story about um, Mr. Haji. He was the dirtiest man alive. I did that story a couple weeks ago. There was a YouTube commenter named Emmanuel who said, hey, this guy, okay, now I'll say this. I, okay, I called the dude Herodotus, and everyone's like, no, it's Herodotus. And again, I don't know if I've said this earlier, do you really know his name is Herodotus? Because his name was in ancient Greek. And there's no one around who speaks ancient Greek who spoke it back then. Like, there's people who can, like, translate it. But technically, for all we know, it sounded like a bunch of crow's kind, and then just other languages he developed? I don't know. I, I, I'm sure... I. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are probably right that it's pronounced Herodotus, but it's spelled Herodotus. So that is, but I do appreciate the feedback. But I got a lot of comments on that episode in real life as well. People being like, I'm out at a party with some people and they're like, it's not Herodotus, it's Herodotus. And I'm like, well, according to the ancient Greeks, we don't know. Maybe they went. Like, you know, like, they're just clicking and clacking. We don't know. There's no sound recordings back then. So all that being said, in defense of what I'm about to talk about, let's talk about Diogenes. Now, Diogenes is a Greek philosopher who lived in the 400 BCs. So he's around back then. I can already hear the sound of history majors pulling their hair out. And I had someone try to explain to me how you pronounce his name, but it, but again, I... It's spelled Dio Jeans. And I'm Dio, like the rock band, and then Jeans. It's it's very obvious. But anyway, so Dio Jeans was this philosopher, and he was one of the first cynics. And cynicism, we know now, like cynicism is kind of like, I get called a cynic every once in a while. I got called a cynic the other night, actually. But cynicism as a philosophy was is basically that true happiness is not found in material wealth and things around us or you know, being healthy or having political power or things like that. Cynics doesn't lie in any sort of fleeting things, which I got that definition from Wikipedia. And it's a baseline definition. It's kind of a... But see, what I don't understand is how how does that tie into me just being like, I just, I don't believe in that. I guess that is kind of kind of that. But anyway, cynicism, I think... That, let me actually look up the definition of cynicism real quick. Highly, highly prepared for this episode. How are you guys doing? I'm using my phone if you're wondering how I'm still recording while I'm doing this. You guys having a good day? Cynicism. I know how to spell it. So there's that. And I'm I'm pronouncing that right. You get some credits for that. Oh, okay. Cynicism. An inclination to believe that people are motivated purely by self-interest skepticism. So yeah. Same thing. Just cynic is a kind of a, a philo- philosophical model of that. So. Let's go on with the episode. So Diogenes was this dude who lived in what is now modern day Turkey. And the dude from the start was, he, he's a troll. He's an absolute troll. He would do stuff because he's a cynic, because he would basically look at people who respected power and material wealth and all that stuff. He was spitting in their face all the time. And, and there's a lot of stories about him. And a lot of them people go, yeah, that probably didn't happen the way that we remember it. But it's funny, that's a fitting tribute to him because he probably wouldn't really want to be remembered. I think he probably would find it funny that nobody knows the exact details of what went on. He, his dad was a moneymaker. His dad, like, minted coins, and Diogenes would uh, deface it. So he got in trouble for that. You know, because he's like, what's the point? You're making this money, and you'd, like, draw little mustaches on it, if they had mustaches back then, I'm assuming. He would, he basically, and this is why I think he got compared to the dirtiest man in the world. He just ate onions. He used to have a single cup to drink water out of until he saw a kid drinking water out of his hands. And Diogenes is like, ah, I don't need this cup. This kid... Has it more figured out than I do? Now, the kid probably washed his hands more than you do, but fair enough. He was a bum. He was a total bum. He lived in a giant barrel in the middle of the city, like Oscar the Grouch. Some people say barrel, some people say jar. The point is, he lived in a container. A Diogenes-sized container is what he lived in. And he would just be like, 
wake up, Big Bird's walking down the street. He's like, hey, let me masturbate on you. Because he was a frequent public masturbator. At one point, one of the stories about him was he was sitting on the street jacking off. And so the dude walks up and goes, hey, Diogenes, quit jacking off. And Diogenes, his response was, I wish it was as easy to banish hunger by rubbing my belly. I'm assuming he finished masturbating. But, I I mean, I guess that does make sense. Like, wouldn't it be nice if you're hungry, you just rub your belly and it goes away? Just like, you can be like, you know what? I'm bored. I'm going to jack off. I'm horny. I'm going to jack off. Um, This episode's definitely getting an explicit filter. You'll have to be over 18 to listen to this episode on YouTube as well. But, so he was just like a a troll. He lived in a barrel or a box or just a Diogene-shaped container, which I believe you can buy at Bed Bath & Beyond. But he... Would masturbate in public, he would poop in public, pee in public, he didn't care. Now, people were like, they, they kind of got it to a certain point. They're like, you know, he's living freer than I am, but he's also a disgusting, filthy human being. He thought that people should be more like dogs. He thought dogs had it all figured out. It was a very simple way of living life. And the word cynic actually it comes from basically a deviation of the Greek word for dog. Because just live your life simple like a dog. I'll get to that in a second. Eventually, he, another great thing that he did. So we know of Socrates and we know of Plato, these great Greek philosophers. And people, there's a lot of people who would give their left arm to be able to speak to Socrates, to speak to Plato, to hear, just to hear these great minds think. Well, Diogenes didn't care. Diogenes flat out didn't care about these guys. I think that he cared about... No, I don't think he cared about them at all. I mean, he might have cared a little bit about their philosophy, but he thought it was too hoity-toity. He was like, oh, they're giving speeches in these big arenas and stuff like that. If I was a philosopher, I would jack off in front of him while I'm talking about stuff. So he would go to Plato. Plato would have these big seminars, like this Tony Robbins type of thing. And Diogenes would show up. And I'm assuming, I can just, just from reading about this guy, I can imagine the smell of him. Because why? Why would he care about bathing? He lives in a bucket, for crying out loud. So he go. He would go to Plato's seminars, and as Plato was delivering these pearls of wisdom to these philosophers who have traveled m- hundreds of miles to sit in front of Plato, Diogenes would unwrap food and eat it noisily, just to distract everybody. It's <laughs> that's, that's master-level trolling. Like, that is... Th- you could take the best troll today... And he could never live up to sitting in front of one of the greatest minds of the Western world and eating noisily while he's trying to do a presentation. That is, Dio Jeans, that is 100%. That's grade A stuff. When I saw that anecdote, I was like, okay, this guy, I'm going to talk about this guy however briefly, because that's amazing. He ended up getting caught, sold into slavery. The well, he got caught because he was running around or something like that. He, he, I think he had to leave the city because he was doing some stuff, defacing the money. Maybe he gets caught by slavers, sold to someone, and ends up and ends up teaching his master's children because he he was a brilliant mind. He was just so outside the box. If he wasn't living in the box, he was outside of it. So he goes into this rich dude's house. He's teaching his kids. He starts to gain more stature. He finds another philosopher who shares the same viewpoints as him, and that's really where the school of cynicism kind of took off. And then, like, so he finally has some prestige. He has a house that he lives in where he tutors these children. He's the second-hand man to this other famous philosopher who actually, like, they see eye to eye. It's all about people being simple and, and having disregard for these material things. And he moves into a jar. He moves into a jar. He's in a brand new city, and he has a job, and he has all this respectability, and he just gets a big jar and crawls inside of it. And he lives in a jar in this city as well. But again, now he has more clout. People are like, oh, hey, Theo James. He's like jacking off in the jar. They're like, oh, you scamp. I wonder what Oscar the Grouch does in that garbage can all the time. I think there was an episode of Sesame Street, and I could have just be a little kid, and I could have been dreaming this, but I thought there was an episode where they go into the garbage can, and there's like a full apartment down there. I don't remember, but it almost sounds something like I would have dreamt rather than it actually being real. Because actually, that's kind of creepy. That's basically Oscar the Grouch's like murder dungeon. There's something underneath the garbage can. So, and again, Dio Jeans goes out in the weirdest possible way. They, they don't know exactly how he died. There's one of three ways. One, died of an infected dog bite, which would be ironic because 
cynics basically want to live like dogs, which I guess that's how other dogs died back then. They got bit by other dogs. Eating raw octopus. Now, obviously, he wasn't, like, swimming in the ocean and, like, took a bite out of one, but, you know, just eating raw octopus food. Or, oddly enough, and this is actually physically impossible, I don't even know why they include this in this list of his possible deaths, holding his breath until he died. Your body won't let you do that, but maybe held his breath and, like, fell into some wet cement and couldn't breathe anymore. And they asked him before he died, not like while he was dying. <clears throat> He's face down on the cement, and they're like, hey, Diogenes, Diogenes, how do, you, how do you want to be buried? But they asked him before he died, and he said, they go, what do you want us to do with your body when you're dead? Because, again, he had more clout in this new city. He said, yeah, just throw it out, <laughs> just throw it over the city wall. Let the dogs eat it. I don't care. And they go, well, don't you mind? And he goes, I won't care if you do that, as long as you give me a stick so I can fight the dogs off. And they go, well, dude, if we throw you over the wall, you're dead, and we give you a stick. Why, why, why are you asking for a stick? You're dead. You can't do anything. And he replied, if I lack awareness, then why should I care what happens to me when I am dead? I think there's definitely elements from Dio Jean's life that we can look at. I, public masturbation is not one of them. Don't do that. Living in a jar, maybe. If you had a nice lid. But uh, I, I wouldn't do it. Unless it was had the murder dungeon underneath it. Okay, so not saying I would use a murder dungeon. I would just want more room, <laughs> room down there. That was a clip from our daily podcast, Dead Rabbit Radio. Dead Rabbit Radio is available anywhere that you listen to podcasts. It's daily paranormal, conspiracy, and true crime news. If you want to hear the full episode that this clip came from, check the link below. Please like and subscribe. And hit that little bell, too. That does some magical stuff. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.